grit in the first half and brilliance in the second, I suppose you'd, you'd be pretty happy with what you delivered first half for the Dragons. Yeah, it's a good way to describe it, I suppose. Um, we were definitely gritty in the first half, saved a, you know, a few tries. We were our own worst enemy, I thought. Just too many errors, um, put ourselves under too much pressure, and but the grit kept us in the game. So, uh, and then you know we didn't start the second half that well either. Um, once again, errors with the football, but grit, determination, and then as you said, a bit of class got us got us some good points. So overall, uh, a lot to work on, and but also pretty happy. Was that test the character at the start of the game? Was that maybe just a bit of a godsend for you to, to start like that, where you showed that you can deliver when the, the, the going gets tough? Well, I think it's um, it's not me. It's not about me. It's about the team. And they've got to start to believe. And I thought that was a really big step in believing in what type of team we've got. Um, to turn, keep turning the Titans away. At one stage, I think they had 45 play the balls in our 30, and we had you know, 12 in theirs, and we just kept turning them away. So the biggest challenge with this group is to make sure that they start believing what sort of side they are and oh, I thought that was a good step today that we kept turning them away, they didn't run over our try line, they had to kick in behind us to score a try and um, well, you know, that, that means a lot to me, the way we defend and you, know, you have a look at any side that wins a competition um, or plays semi-finals, they're in the top three and four defensively and you know that's where I want to see us. Well, he's a class player when he gets into space and can score tries without a doubt. He's still just got to work on some things. Um, there's a couple of errors, you know, him and a couple of other players there. and He wasn't on his own, but, you know, yeah, he's, he's one of those players that you, people come to see and play football. But uh, for me, it's a, probably more so leaning on the side defensively as a defensive coach. Um, he needs to tidy a few errors up, and but... You know, we'll give him a tick today. What, what, what was the big thing you wanted from him at the start of the season? Like you spoke there on the, on the telly about you know, some of the things, but what, what was the key for you that you wanted to see from him and what, what, where you think he's headed with what your advice was? Well, I think, uh, you know, I, I think it's said to see some of the errors last year that he made defensively. Um, you know, people thought he was, you know, they use maybe the word soft. He's not soft defensively. He'll put his body in and he'll have a crack at him. It's more probably of a technique um, type of thing that he needs to concentrate on, but he'll definitely have a go defensively. And then, um, you know, once the players like um, Tyrell have just got to realise that you can't score all the time. You know, you've got to just value possession and, you know, make your tackles. So it's a fine line to take that, you know, what take that little bit of class and flair about away from him and you know get him to on the conservative side so that's what we're going to try and do with him. I don't want him to be about yourself Flano, but it must be a nice way to come back to the game to be involved in a, a win like that. You know? Yeah without a doubt um, it's been a really good pre-season the players have worked their butts off a lot of them have changed their um, body shape and the way they move and I think you would have saw that today, especially defensively, you know, the way I want to play the game and um, they needed to be fitter, faster and stronger and they've worked really hard to say credit to them and credit to all the staff. Um, you know, and I was sitting back quite happy that people were tipping us to come last and because it won't happen. Hunt, did you see that sort of performance coming? Yeah, I did. <coughs> um, you know, not, probably not the attacking side of it, but, you know, we've still got a lot to work on with our attack, but just where we put in defensively in the pre-season and getting fit and um, you know I felt that we were going to come in and work really hard and I didn't know you know we were going to win by the, the score that we did but I knew we'd put it, give ourselves a chance to be in the in the competition and yeah it was, it was pleasing that it come off. Yeah I, I guess it is a little bit no it's it's always very pleasing when you can get wins on the road. They're obviously a bit harder when you go into an enemy's territory, but um, you know we just want to focus on winning winning games. It doesn't matter where they are, to be honest. Yeah, the other way Lomax responded to, like there's been a lot of talk about him whether he wants to be on the wing or not. They wouldn't tell Shane about that and the way he responded to that tonight because he was everywhere um, and, and seemed to play a lot of intent. Yeah, well, if he wasn't happy, he wouldn't have played like that. Um, you know. Players sometimes play out of position and 
his you know, favourite position is right centre, but you know to say he's not happy, you know, as I said, he went out there today in a really good frame of mind and did a really good job. Um, so um, you know, maybe that is his position, I'm not quite sure, but to answer your question also about you know, winning away from home, and winning in Queensland, I think we've won one game out of our last 18 in Queensland and the old Dragons, but the new Dragons are one from one and we've got to come up here next week with a really tough game against the Dolphins. So, looking forward to the next challenge. That's really, I uh, you, you do like what you're saying from him, mate, as well. Like, he, uh, we've seen the brilliance of him, but he's diffused and very good defensive. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, some really good last plays tonight as well. It was a all round. Yeah, definitely pleased him. Um, you know, we know the power that Sewell has got when he, when he gets into the game. He's, you know, his tackle busting ability, and you know, we saw tonight the skill he's got as well. You know, taking those high balls and things like that. But um, you know, the more he's getting involved in the game, the better it is for us because yeah, he's a very powerful player. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.